welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos and I have quite the myriad of planners. I have this happy Nietzsche skinny happy planner half sheets and now they have come out with the skinny happy planner with an actual calendar in it. This is more Bujo style. I do have a bullet journal, which is this beauty right here. Love this thing. I use my planners for different things. I also have my Hobonichi Weeks, my Hobonichi Cousin, and my classic um, Happy Planner, which has a myriad of planners in it. I use for various different things so but it's not like a calendar calendar per se um, for everyday things I also like to share arts and crafts mixed media DIYs um, hauls happy mail and sometimes I do like to throw a lifestyle video in the mix as it were so without further ado let's get into it shall we as I said, this is my Happy Nietzsche Half Sheet Skinny Happy Planner. This cover, this beauty that you're looking at right here, was gifted to me by Jojo Zahana here on YouTube. And she is a doll face. I love this thing. I like the floral, of course, and I like the little spots of orange. And I adore this bow. This bow is everything. It is crocheted. By hand, I love it. I love this color. It's like moss, mossy green, like my yard. I do, <laughs> I do like to share my mug shots. Yes, I did the air quotes. Sue me. <laughs> oh Lord, and um, as in my coffee shots, because I just I like my mugs. My little coffee cup. Sometimes I do a teacup. And I love the sky and like nature. And my yard is so cool. It's like a forest. A woodland forest for real. I have truffles growing out there randomly. I'm like, hun. Because he actually mows the lawn. <laughs> it's a good exercise. So there's that. And... um like you brought up all the truffles I mean you know truffles are very very rare and expensive um and our yard has a lot of moss in it so they just grow and it has lots of trees yes I have a maple tree oaks Japanese maple trees just different kinds of trees I even have honeysuckle which I love that grows wild here in Virginia and um mushrooms grow in there um all sorts of things and then I have a mint garden so in any event yes I saw a humongous truffle just yesterday so there's that I like to post those on Instagram though but I digress so let's get into it shall we Jojo says she like she calls this sage green um, I like to call it moss green myself. You know, everybody has a different eye and it's just beautiful. And ochre, she said, she told me, I love the ochres and the sage green colors as, as she gets older or whatever. Um, we're not old, hon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do too. Okay. Like, it's, so I mean, you know, great minds think alike. Ochre, I've been obsessed with it. Probably a couple years now. I know it's the it color. Um, but I, I just, it, it does it for me. It totally turns me on. I love it. So, man, is this a little chatty video. But, you know. So, I decked this out. All of these pieces, in case you haven't seen any of my videos. All of these pieces are just laminated, die cuts, and um, scrapbooking paper. And I wanted to bling this out for fall. So I just, since it is a laminated cover, I wanted to, you know, deck it all out and decorate it, of course. And then JoJo added this. Whoops. 
Um, I just used the Tombow um, adhesive roller to hook those up. And this is one of her cash envelopes that she makes. So I have the letter that she wrote to me. Look how cute that is. Because I want to remember it. And I just keep like to keep it there. And then she, this is her prototype for her um, Happy Nietzsche. I don't know exactly what she's calling it. But it's the Happy Nietzsche pocket folder that hooks right into your planner. And she sells all this stuff in her Etsy shop. So I have some bomb cushion stickers in here. And I have the little note she wrote me because, yes, I am a sentimental person all the way. I love it. So, everything has a story for me. My recipes. I mean, like, when I do my recipe videos, and I will do some more because I've had a couple different people request those because I haven't done one in a little bit. Um... But I remember and I recollect where I was, who I was with, who taught me the recipe. That is my absolute favorite. I love the feeling of cooking with someone else who has a passion for their food and recipes. And I cherish those. So I do have a Happy Nietzsche Half Sheets um, recipe nook playlist if you're interested and this is my tra traveler's wallet from the house of Flynn um, that I keep it in and this is a skinny half sheets happy planner this one and I call it Ono Grinds I used to reside in Hawaii for quite some time when I was younger High school, college, first job, yeah, anyway, and I just have different recipes in here, um, a lot of them for my parents, and Karu, who taught me how to cook, because my mom never did like cooking, um, but she, you know, we all have to eat, all of us kids, there was four of us, so... I just like to use the dot grid paper so I can bling it out how I like to. And just different recipes. This one is from my friend. Um, my friend who taught me how to cook, her name is Karu. She's no longer with us. Um, so she had, I think, four kids as well. So my friend, um, his sister, Betty, she had sent me this one. So in the mail because she used to write me letters and um so i wanted to of course add that in that's kung pao chicken potato soup from my friend here locally this is delicious my other friend she's from new jersey um these are the italian chicken or sausage riggies this is so so simple and delicious and inexpensive to make if you're looking to be on a budget for your food bill. And I call this section Chez Douvre. I am part French. Irish, German, French. That's what I am. In case you were wondering. So I call that Chez Douvre, which is like main attraction. So my main dish. And then I have accoutrement. This section is what I call that. Accoutrement. Side dishes. And I decorated this with cardstock scrapbooking paper because that's how I like to do things. It's so cute. So this is my friend from college. She shared this lumpio recipe with me. I love it. And then banana lumpia. And then delicacies. And I made these out these dividers. I do have a silhouette cameo in blush from Teresa Collins that I got at Michael's, but a lot of people don't have it. So I shared a video on how to hand make these, um, clear dividers. And this is just graph plastic. You can check out that video for the link and, um, cut them out myself, basically using one of these to trace out the index, the top. So 
They're very easy and extremely inexpensive. I've seen these for a pack of 25, lowest 13 something dollars. So, and I can make three of these on that or just one for my um, classic Happy Planner size. Okay, and that's my mom's fudge. Mango bread. This is from Karu. She taught me how to do this because in Hawaii you have mango trees right in the yard. Um, so banana, apple, banana trees, mango trees, um, you know, everything grows the best there because of the climate. Malasadas. Those are like donuts. You can buy them just with sugar like a um, sugar donut or filled with everything. You know, usually we got it from the truck in Waimanalo because we lived in Kailua. My mom loved these, so. And I left a space to put a picture when I get to making them or printing them. And then Le Petit Dejeuner. So have cold overnight oatmeal and then I put some other ones in and that's all I've done so far so love this thing it's like it just transfers transports me back in time to you know when <laughs> we would make these things together and with different people you know and that's my parents' cube steaks and their roast beef dinner with gravy. And then you have beef hash with the leftovers. Beef hash is so delicious because I wasn't a huge meat eater when I was a kid. So I'd have to sit at the table for hours with my plate in front of me because I just didn't want to eat it. I like flavor and spices in my food. And, um, no, they just use salt and pepper usually. So, anyway, that's how I cook. But, um, the spices and vegetables and everything. But, like, wow. Beef hash. You have to try it. I mean, it's just a way to use the leftover. Of course, you can have roast, you know, roast beef sandwiches. But then use the potatoes and the, um, leftover roast for beef hash. It's so good. And so simple. And you just grind it with one of those hand cranking grinders that you hook on your counter. Or my little sister, she has an electric one, my mom said. So that's how she does it. And chicken noodle soup. Delicious. And if you boil any soup that you make, if, you, if you're sick or whatever, or just in general, because, you know, it is fall now. So, I mean, personally, I love soup in the fall, so in winter, but you want to boil it with the bone in because if you don't, then you don't get the nutritional value because there's gelatin in the bone and you can use turkey with the bone, chicken with the bone, beef with the bone. Um, I like to get my meat from Polyface Farm. They deliver all over Virginia um, and they have certain pickup locations. Mine's... My location that I pick up is Mom's Apple Pie in Aquaquan because it's like two minutes. So, um, you know, it's organic, so. But anyway, that's like taking an antibiotic. When you boil it with the bone, which with whatever you're making, whatever sauces or soups or gravies or anything, boil it with the bone and the gelatin comes out, um, and that has healing properties, mega healing properties. And I'm just getting over, um, you know, a little, I was a little bit under the weather. And so that's what we did. We just, I didn't make full chicken noodle soup, but I just boiled bone broth with vegetables, um, you know, chicken. And I got better really quick. So that's how I like to do it first. But anyway, that is my lovely and beloved 
recipe nook half sheets planner. I adore it and I think it gives the recipes the respect that they do deserve in my humble opinion. <laughs> okay so that's a little trivia and I, I've shown a video on a flip through of this um, planner already. So what I want to do today I have things covered for privacy and this is my little charm not this part this is a paper clip ochre paper clip right here and I just I put a charm on this and I wire wrapped this and I added a rose gold lobster claw and I wire wrapped the beads and the sequins in the chain and added that charm super cute And then JoJo made this for me, actually, and I just added um, two pieces of laminated cardstock to it. This She had this on there, this Happy Day sticker, and then for fall, I just wanted to make it decorated for fall, so I just added on the cardstock and everything, so. All right, um, and for this video, I want to do my October cover page. Now, I have bling these papers out. For the remainder of this year using Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. I like my um, backdrops having, you know, like a flat wash on them and that's why I do it that way. In case you were interested, it was super fun to do. It did take time, but then again, here's another couple dividers I made. It really, you know, adds something to it. And it makes your spreads then super fast to do. Okay. And I just wanted to go over those things because, you know, I have a lot of new subscribers and maybe they haven't watched those other videos, so they maybe you were wondering okay I have my Tim Holtz craft mat and I like to heat this down to protect my surface and I think I want to use this deep red pumpkin patch stamp that I have here it is from um, scrapbook.com and then my stays on and then I think I will use the orange Wink of Stella. Ta-da! And there's a couple different green Wink of Stellas. So I think I will use the number 40 green. And these are all glitter markers. So let's do it. I think this will look cute, right? And I just now decided at this very moment that that's what I was going to do. So, I also think that I will use this Crayola Brick Red <clears throat> brush pen. It has dual ends. They work rather nicely. So, I think I'll just write out October here. Okay, I haven't done it in the style that I'm going to do in a long time, so let's just have some fun. And if it doesn't turn out, it isn't the end of the world, you know? Now, this is a long word to write on this short paper, so.
There we go. Okay. Okay, you see how I messed up that bee? Because I haven't done this in years, so I'm fixing it. So, when I mess things up, I just, you know, try to redo it and hope for the best. Cross, you know, my fingers and hope I can manage to fix it. So, so <laughs> this bee... It's humongous. I wouldn't normally make the bee that big, but since I messed up the bee part for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking. But you can fix things. So be for brave, huh? How about that? So then I'm just gonna obviously color these in. And they work well over the Distress Ink, so that's nice. But you see, you can't even tell that I messed that up. Totally fine. Now it looks a little odd because my bee is a little off, but it, it's okay. The more you do it, the better you get. Now I could outline that um, in black to try to make it more bee-like. We'll see. But I'm just going to color this in. And this will be my October, the start of my October cover page, rather. Okay, so I shall return. Okay, so how I decided to fix this, and I'll show you a little bit, as I pulled out my Tombow in number 899. And it worked like a champ. So I'm just outlining certain areas of the letters. And I think it actually makes it look even better. So I thought I should show you what exactly... I'm doing. Okay. So now you can tell that that is a B. All right. So when I mess up and I do that often because I'm not perfect, I try to remedy it, figure out a way to remedy the situation. You know what I mean? And here's, for me, personally, here's the thing. If you don't dare, excuse me, if you don't dare to do something and try it and see if it works, you're never going to. You know what I mean? You're just going to stick with the safe. So I totally messed that up. And I haven't done this sort of lettering in a long time so and I didn't practice at all <laughs> before I did this so I felt like doing it and when you don't do things for a little bit you kind of do need to have a little practice session but I just went with it and now I did mess it up but I fixed it so I think it looks good now and you know so, all right, so now I want to take out my stays on ink. Hopefully this will turn out okay and use this cute stamp. 
See? Can you see me? I don't know. I've never used this. I got this last year, like I said. This is my first time using it. I really want to get this inked up. Uh -huh. And I'm going to do a practice one. See how it turns out. Wow. That is so cute. Okay. Now, you guys see I have all different kind of room there, right? Well, I'm going to do some things. And I've done this many times. Little tricks of the trade that you pick up. So I'm going to put this piece of scratch paper right here. So it can pick up any excess. But I want to have this here as well. I could have gone over more, but that's all right. You still get a little essence of that. Now I'm going to take the paper and put it right here on this spine, the edge of the paper by the umbrellas. And do a little bit more. That way, oh, that was an epic, that was an epic fail. I didn't go over enough, so do it again. Because there is a little lip here, you know. Maybe if I turn it this way, it'll be easier. I'm getting all inky. Oh. Okay, uh, maybe I will just grab another one, another scratch paper, and I'm going to put it over my letter. I have to work quickly because this ink dries so fast. And I'll do like that. Maybe I can get some. Okay, so I got a little bit there. So that's how I do it on the edging. The rest of it's easy, but, you know, for the edges, that's just the trick you do. That way you don't get it on the letters, but you still have a little peekaboo of the stamp, which is what I want, ultimately. Yeah, cool. All right. Put some more there. You could even use a sticky note. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. little bit more here. Here we go. And then you just have it peeking there. So it doesn't impede your letters. You know what I mean? So I think that trick works well. There we go. And then I'm just gonna work my way up. I'm 
just like so. Now the rest, nothing but net. Um, well, over here we have a little bit we can do. I always like to do the harder part first and then the easier parts. Which is by the letters, obviously. I mean, it's not hard, but you know. And then we just go like that. And same for right here in this section. I could have gone over a little bit more there. I guess it doesn't matter if it's on that part. There we go. See, that's cute, right? Now, nothing but net. And you can go in darker or lighter, however you like. Okay, so this will be the last one for this side, I think. And I like to clean as I go so it comes right off the mat. Perfect. So I'm going to do the rest of these in, on this side and then I shall return. Okay, I also decided to pull the brown, my brown um, Wink Estella pen out because I want to use that for the stems. So usually what I do is I have a scratch paper and I want to get this pen going if I have a lot of ground to cover and then I go in. And this really makes it very, there's a lot of ink so I want to distribute it. This gives um, any stamping a lot of vibrancy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just trying to sop up basically some of the ink. And distribute it. Because it these pens are very juicy and I don't want to waste it. Waste not what not. So when I get a lot, excuse me, of excess, I just put it, distribute it all over. Okay, so I'm just going to color this in and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have almost everything colored in. Now there are little itty bitty flowers and there isn't a white um, Wink Estella. So I'm just going to use my jelly roll and do those flowers and then I shall return. So on top of the white flowers that I used, my Jelly Roll pen, I'm just going to use the clear Wink of Stella. Now it's coming off like a champagne gold. So, and I did go over this whole thing with my heat, heat it craft tool to dry it to help it along the way. So this will give it a little oomph as you can see for those white flowers okay 
So let's get this back into my Happy Nietzsche. I think it's a fun spread and I enjoy coloring. So it does take quite a bit of time to do the coloring, but see, it's so glittery and sparkly. The camera didn't even want to focus on it. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is my spread for my weekly section for the month of October. And you don't have to do that by any means, but I just like to. And I do like to keep my... These are transparencies. Oh, it's still a little wet. See that? I do like to keep my transparencies on top of my um sections my monthly like header sections as i think of it as and they are just transparencies that i cut down and then punched holes in it so i will put these on top after it's dry and that's everything so i think it turned out super cute now, I have other smaller pumpkins, like for this little spot or this little spot, but I'm okay, you know, with it like this. I think, you know, it looks cute. And I'm digging my little October that I messed up on. I think it, you know, came to shape nicely. So, and of course, I like the backdrops as they are. So, you know, it's like a painting, so you keep wanting to do things more to it. Um, so that is my spread for the month of October for my weekly section. And I do also do my October monthly section. It's a monthly calendar, so we get to that. And we'll think up, dream up some sort of idea for that but I am very happy with this when I get my book markers on this section this is from the planner society I forget who made this for me and then I handmade this and I just stuck it on this paper clip super cute the little fox I always love me a good fox see it how cute is that? I got the fox at Hobby Lobby a couple years back, so maybe last year or the year before. So anyway, thank you ever so kindly for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed um, I hope that it encourages you to go ahead and try things. Um, even if they don't turn out, you can always fix it somehow, some way, or it's just a piece of paper. You can just take it out and start over or lay another paper on top of it and recreate it. Because if you have your front and back section already, you know, delegated for what you want it for, you can always do it that way. So, I hope if you like this video, you consider subscribing to my channel. And I wish you all happy planning. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Peace out.